guys, it's Andrea from My Chihuahua Bites here with my little helper, Cooper, today. Say hello. Say hey. Say hi. <laughs> um, he wanted to be in the shot, so he and his daddy are about to go um, have some fruit snacks while I record this video from you. Again, um, my blog is My Chihuahua Bites, www.mychihuahuabitesblog.com. Um, I want to talk to you today about makeup brushes, specifically about my favorite makeup brushes, and I was going to show you the way that I store them. Um, you'll want to look at my blog for pictures of my exact collections, the name of the brushes, and um, all those good details. Um, this is how I store the majority of my brushes. This is from Sephora. It's a brush roll. I got it several years ago, so I'm not sure if they still carry this exact product. But when you open it up, You can see um, the reason that I chose this specific brush roll is that it has two ro rows of pouches for you to put your brushes in so it maximizes your space. It also has two pockets which I like. One is covered and one is clear so you can see what's in it. So definitely I did a lot of research on brush rolls and at the time this was the best one that I found. I do believe that MAC has something similar right now um, so definitely check that out. This is my favorite, favorite sponge. It's called the Beauty Blender. You guys probably know about it. If you get Birch Box, this was um, in the box for February for some people. Um, but it's great for applying foundation. It's great for applying concealer. That's what I use it for. I wet it, squeeze the excess water out, and just kind of dab it all over my face to smooth out my foundation. Someone is back, so you may hear him. Um... <laughs> Uh, my new favorite brushes right now are the Sigma brushes, and I'll link to them in my post. They are wonderful, wonderful quality brushes, and they have really good prices. Right now, if I had to choose between Sigma and MAC, I would probably choose Sigma, even though I love MAC. Um, this is my favorite Sigma brush um, for my birthday. I got myself the Sigma Synthetic Kabuki, and this is one of the brushes. It is the Taper Kabuki F86, and it's the best brush for applying foundation in my opinion. Um, it gives you kind of the pointedness of a foundation brush, but it also has the thick bristles. And so I've really found that I can create a really flawless face with this brush. So I love this brush. This is an older brush. Um, most of my brushes are older. The majority of my brushes I purchased in 2007, 2008 and they're all holding up very, very well. This is a Bare Essentials brush. I like their brushes too. I think that they're very hardy. I've had mine for a while. This is the Heavenly brush, which I love. Um, when I first purchased it, it nobody else had brushes like this. Um, but I use this to um, apply um, powder. I have a, one specifically that I use for powder and this orange one I use for bronzer. Um, and it just picks up a good amount of product and it distributes it evenly on your face. Um, brushes like these are also very good for buffing out your foundation. This is another Sigma brush from the Synthetic Kabuki set. It is the Angle Top Kabuki. Um, you can see <laughs> it has not been clean. I use this to apply cream blush and brightly colored brushes. It kind of diffuses the color a little bit and it busts it out in your skin. So I really like this one. Um, one of my must-have brushes, um, and again, I've had this brush since 2007, is the Tarte Double-Ended Eyeshadow Brush. Um, they still sell this. I saw it at Sephora the other day, but this is the best eyeshadow brush out there on the market. If you could only have one eyeshadow brush, I would definitely recommend it be this. One side, again, deposits color on, on your lid, all over your lid. The other is a crease brush, and it is just wonderful for putting the perfect amount of color into your crease and blending it out. Love this. This is the MAC 224. It's a tapered blending brush. I really love this. Um, I've been really into dark and bright eyeshadows lately in my crease. And you really need one of these for blending if you're going to do a lot of crease color. Any type of dark or bright crease color. It is just a dream to blend out your, your foundation, your eyeshadow with. Um, this brush right here is the MAC. Um, I think it's the MAC 233. Um, the writing has worn off. Um, again, it was purchased in 2007. Um, but this is, um, I forget the actual name of it, but I use it to 
um, lay down color in the um, on my eyes. Um, it's really good for just brightly pigmented shadows or if you want to be really precise about where you want to put your eyeshadow, um, if you want to do the inner corners of your eye or the highlight area. Um, it's just great because it picks up the color and it, you just press it on your lid. Two more brushes. Um, this is my favorite brush ever, ever in the whole entire world. I could not live without it. It is, ooh, ooh the writings. Um, I don't know the number. I'll have to link to that in my post. But it is the MAC Smudge Brush. You can see. So amazing. If you do smoky eyes, if you smudge your eyeshadow or your eyeliner at all, you need this brush. Really, really, really need this brush. It just smudges out your eyeshadow perfectly, your eyeliner perfectly. Recently, I've started using it to apply crease color um, to my crease. And then I use the tapered um, blending brush to blend it out. So it just apply. It's just perfect. I love it so much. Um, last brush. A couple of you have asked me about how I do my brows or why they look the way that they do. Um, I have naturally very thick brows. I, I pluck any stray hairs. Um, but I also go in with a brown eyeshadow and this Bare Essentials brow brush and just kind of fill in any little gaps that I have. And it just makes my brows very polished looking. Um, and this is my favorite brow brush, although I was at um, MAC the other day and saw that they have a brush that is the exact same as this. So um, that is my favorite brushes. Again, check out my blog, www.mychihuahuabitesblog.com for my post. Or if you're reading this, um, if you're reading my post, you will see um, a video with... Um, all of my brushes and the names of the brushes and so on and so forth. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, see you soon. Thanks for watching.